It's Barbie time. Welcome to number two in my Barbie makeover series. This is Wedgwood Barbie. And instead of putting on my final outfit, I have put on this t-shirt, which kind of goes with the color family of what she's gonna, she wears. So I don't want to mess up my actual outfit with makeup. So let's start with my foundation. I love this Dura foundation and um, a little bit of extra eye cream to go over the top to give me that really filled in shiny sparkly skin look dewy and plastic like a doll okay once the skin is all prepped and that's rubbed in a little bit let it letting the eye cream dry as I, I did put it over my foundation <laughs> Putting a little bit of light powder over it. This Barbie skin is a bit lighter than mine, so I'm just gonna go over with a very light powder. Give that porcelain Wedgwood look. Some lip balm. Okay, let's check out what she has going on. Quite a lot of bright colors with her eyeshadow. This first one is a sparkly liquid shadow from Maybelline. I'm really into liquid glittery shadows because they just give such a nice finish and they act as a great eyeshadow base. Um, this color is kind of like a stone color. It's kind of gray and kind of brown, but definitely cool tone. So I'm putting that um, under the lid and on the actual eyelid. Not too high up though. Hmm. So her eyebrows are pretty thinly drawn on and follow a very specific shape, not a shape that I normally would follow, <laughs> but I'm going to try to match her as much as I possibly can. And truly eyebrows change the entire look for any makeup look, I have to say. Eyebrows are the biggest, most dramatic difference in a makeup. Okay, clearly I'm to do something about my hair. Going in with a powder that's also this um, brown, but kind of cool toned brown. Pulling it all the way out to the edges. <laughs> Looking a little crazy so far, but she definitely has that brown under layer. And I'm trying to recreate the color she has in her upper lid, which is, Kind of a periwinkle blue that matches the dress. Now, I don't have that color as an eyeshadow, but I have this purple eyeshadow base color. And I'll start there and kind of add a blue over it to try and get closer to the color that she has. I'm trying to be creative with what I have and not just going out and buying stuff. Okay, going over the lid with this golden kind of shimmery, again, liquid eyeshadow. Um, just to make that lid part pop and there's the blue that will bring it closer to the color that she has painted on trying to blend it out pretty well I recognize that this is not a look that most people would do on a day-to-day -day basis but she is a Barbie so she's pretty dramatic and she's in a ball gown so aptly dramatic, I would say. Anyway, going in with a liquid liner to really line the waterline in my eyes. Very fine tipped pen that I'm using this time. I'm trying to follow the eye shape that she has. So I'm gonna kind of change my angles a little bit than what I normally do on an eyeliner. As you can see, I already started that with the lower shadow color. drawing on those eyelashes <laughs> obviously these dolls don't have actual eyelashes glued in it's all painted on so to stay true to the look i'm doing the same kind of a strange look i didn't know how this would turn out but i thought i would try to stay true to what the doll has and actually once the mascara is on you don't really even notice that it almost looks like real eyelashes so if you have to make videos and don't want to put fake lashes on, but you want that look, you can always achieve it with 
the eyeliner. And this is my brand new foundation I'm so excited about. Beautiful packaging. I'm super excited. I'll leave the link um, down below. Oh, so luxurious and beautiful. So just adding a little bit of this on top because this color is a little bit too light for me. And it's going to enhance that porcelain, porcelain doll effect that the porcelain doll has. It's pretty light. I think I put a little too much on, but blending fixes everything. Just continuing to blend all those little corners and you see you can't even tell that it's not the right color for me of course mascara no look is complete without it hmm. i don't normally put foundation over powders but it actually makes your makeup stay really well if you have to do a marathon day powder first and then liquid foundation over it is kind of a wonderful thing I recently discovered. So if you need your makeup to stay on all day, powder first and then liquid foundation. So if you'll notice the wonderful music in the background today, I'm listening to a live stream concert from the Lakeside Artists Guild, which I am a proud member of and it's a shameless plug for us. So check out the Lakeside Artist Guild YouTube page as well and uh, they have an amazing Christmas album out and um, much more things to come. Just adding a little highlighter to, and some blush to kind of give it that warm dewy look. I'm going to try to follow the shape that the doll has. Again, reshaping my lips to sort of match what she has going on, so I have to keep looking over at it, of course. Nothing is more malleable than your eyebrow shape and your lip shape, in truth. Once you start to play with makeup, you can see that you can make a lot of changes just with makeup alone. Going in with some brown, warm-toned eyeliner to make that pop. Okay, time to do something about my hair. Clearly, hers is jet black. Um, adding a little bit of bronzer just around the outside of my face. Kind of adds like a frame to the face around the hairline. Touch more blush. <laughs> Ready to go. All right, now what to do with this hair? Hmm. Oh, how about that? <laughs> and here she is, the final result. My impression of the Wedgwood Barbie makeover. Hope you like it. I love her pearls and this beautiful dress. Timeless elegance. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or comments or any requests for videos. And all the Barbies that I feature in this series are collector's items, but they're also um, on, for sale. So if there's one that you have a fancy for and just contact me through a private message or in the comments. I kind of love this dark haired look, not gonna lie. It's very different than what I have going on now and 
kind of makes me miss having dark hair, but thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Happy New Year.